Salutations fellow hobbyists and welcome to the Toyama Twentry Hobby Channel. In this hobby head video, we will start with my first speculation for the Master Great Virtue which I did last year and later examine the newer pictures. Before I begin, three things. One, this was not the video I was planning on. I started developing a script for another top 10 video but realized I needed more time on it. And two, I appreciate all the subs you guys have been giving this channel. At first I was going to just re-release my speculation of the Gun of Virtue video and not talk about the new pictures but I wanted to give you guys quality content so I added a bit more to this video. I apologize in advance if this video does not have as much deep analysis as my other hobby head videos. I was gonna skip talking about the Master Great Virtue entirely. It's not new news anymore at this point but this way I get more time to work on those scripts. And three, this week has been difficult for me. Apart from scripting, I'm ironing out a lot of stuff behind the scenes. Once it's more tangible, I'll share it with you guys. With that said, previously on the Toyama Tuntry Hobby Channel. The Virtue, the final piece to complete the double O boy band. The sketch is cool looking and it seems to translate well into 3D. He seemed to be able to hold up the gun. The arm droops a little but this is still in development mode. They can fix that. Also I'm sure there are more to the gun. It should extend and the Virtue should be able to hold it with both hands. And this guy should be heavy enough to prop up the big cannons while it's extended forward. I hope those shoulder cannons can be raised up a little bit more just so it looks a little bit better in my eyes. A lot of details on the armor which is great. Usually when there are big armor parts Bandai likes to keep them plain looking but not with this guy. And as you remember this is a 2 in 1 Gundam. So the nod lay should look just as good. It's nice they provide a picture of it. It's leaning a little bit like Hey. But that's okay. It shows us that the hair cables thingy can do this and it looks like rubber and flexible, leaning to the side a bit, going with the wind, falls with gravity. So that's nice. It's not overly fixed and it's flexible, like hair. I hope they put some stuff to the hair so that with the UV light it glows. I know it's not hair, it's cables, but you know. However, looking at this picture, I speculate that it's made with the same material as the GN cables under the elbow, but only red. Now, it's easy to make a good looking knot lay. The hard part is the hair. I'm hoping Bandai brings something new to the table with this knot lay's hair and not recycle the 1 100 knot lay hair on this guy because it's a mess grade. This hair looks fine with it standing still, but imagine the knot lay descending. You'll need the hair to stick up. And if it's doing a forward movement, we need the hair to flow backwards. We need a knot lay that uses shampoo. Not just some good looking virtue, but a good looking knot lay too. Speaking of hair, it would be nice if this guy has a gimmick to have all the armor pieces hanging out of the knot lay. You know like in the midst of transformation when the armors are slowly releasing. It would be nice if we can recreate that scene and Bandai actually putting in some little transparent pieces here and there to make that possible. I can imagine using the hair to hold out some of the face part armor. You know what I mean? This, a semi transformation. So we can pose it when it's in the midst of shedding its outer armor. That would be quite a sight and a game changer. So for this guy, I think he's going to be the most expensive of all the double O boy band bunch. Probably north of what the Master Great Alex 2.0 is. And a little something I want to speculate on is the box art. I don't know how they're going to have the virtue and not lay on it at the same time. Maybe it will just be the virtue. However, it should have an axia on it too, somewhere in the background. You know, to hint on a 2.0. Wink, wink. Axia 2.0. Speaking of Axia 2.0. 
I'm in the midst of making a concept video on what that would be like. So do subscribe to the Toyama 23 Hobby Channel and click on the icon to not miss out on that video. I assure you, the Xier 2.0 Master Grade concept video is still in the middle of scripting. It's not next week's video, so stay tuned. I feel like I still need to hone my skills for that video. At this middle point, I want to thank you all for subscribing, commenting, and the likes you have been giving this channel. Speaking of channels, do you have a YouTube channel that you're working on growing? I recommend TubeBuddy. It's a browser extension that helps optimize your YouTube contents to reach more viewers, such as what tags should I use or does my title attract people to click on my video? After using TubeBuddy, my contents have reached a wider audience. I've been doing some stuff wrong in the settings apparently. If not for TubeBuddy, this channel would not have this big of a growth. In 28 days, I had over 250 new subscribers. So click on my affiliate link below, install the free extension, and grow your YouTube channel for free. Now, new pictures. Here I can imagine this being the image they use for the front of the box. Master Grade Virtue in front and Natle behind. And somewhere in the background, an Axia. You know, for a little hint. This will be released in November, so I guess we still don't know what our annual December release is. Wow, is that the price? That's like Master Grade Verkasa Zabi territory. Okay, if that's the MSRP, that means a lot. This kit is going to be made up of a lot of plastic. Well, as expected for a 2-in-1 kit, but buying two of the one 100 no grade is not even the price of this master grade, which means a lot goes into the engineering of this kit. This kit is gonna be heavy. Dollars to Donuts, Bandai knows we want to complete our double O master grade boy band and they can get away with charging that price. Well, I'm all for it as long as the quality and quantity match. Next, I suppose the bigger reveal for these new sets of pictures is Natle. He gets more spotlight. This scene here, I said I hope they give us stuff to make him pose this way, like you know, transparent rods and stuff. I don't think they will. Maybe a P Bandai? Or we can just get creative. After all, we're hobbyists. But looking at the outer armor parts, we can tell that that's a lot of plastic, layered upon layered. A comparison here, this here is the old no grade feet. The armor on the feet is made out of two pieces, here and here. Whereas the new one takes four pieces from what I think I'm seeing. Two reds and two grays there, yeah I think that's what I'm seeing. Next picture we get more answers to why the high price. The virtue armor is dense. They really put a lot of love into the outer armor here. This is gonna be one chunky monkey. Here we see they have high details on the lining of the armor, even when we might not see them. I wonder if they considered us painting the Natle. I can see adding armor will scratch the paint. I like to think they did and take measures to prevent that. Also speaking of heavy, I hope the waist is strong enough to support everything. I don't want him to start doing the splits. I mentioned earlier, I hope the side cannons can arch higher and they can, so we can exaggerate the post a little, and it will. Something I never considered are these. Like the no grade, they open up on the side to emit GN particles, fields, thingy, which is nice. It'll be nice if they add a spherical effect for us around the Gundam, you know, like in a bubble. And seeing how heavy this kit will be, I'm sure he can hold its GN bazooka in full extension, no problem. I'm not sure if the chest piece here clips onto the gun as looking under it. I don't know. Maybe it's just a gimmick. 
this guy comes standard with the GM drive, but I'm not sure what the second ones are for. I think it's uh, either a this or a that. You choose to power it up. More power to you. Now the GM cannon barrels can extend forward like the no grade. At first I thought they might have some gears in it that move the barrel forward when you rotate the cannons. But no, it's just a push tap. The beam saber hilts store in the Natle, so he won't use it in the virtue mode. What's new are these armaments that's specifically for the Natle, and it comes with effect parts too. Yay! Yeah, everything looks molded in the right color to not need stickers. Now let's talk about the hair. Yes, we want a Natle that uses shampoo. And now, we get a Notley that visits the salon. As the hair is layered. Very nice. Now I still hope they give us more hair though. You know, like effects like flowing in different direction kind of hair. This hair looks great when it's standing still. I guess the front hair can be flipped upside down to hang upward. But not the back. If the Gundam moves forward, the back hair needs to flow differently to indicate motion. Seeing that they fix it in a certain way, I don't think that's going to happen. Unless they have cables in the hair so we can pose it how we want. I really hope there is more to the hair. Especially when you're paying so much for this kit. Maybe react with a UV light? That'd be nice. With all that said, this is the best looking Notley. And virtue well the most expensive so it should be the best it's got an inner frame translucent strips armor for the Natle, inner lining for virtue and outer armor for virtue and armaments this guy is the lasagna of gundams so what are your thoughts on this upcoming master grade leave a comment below if you're new to the channel please help me out by subscribing and to all of you, thank you so much for watching. Fellow hobbyist, keep things awesome, keep the hobby going, and keep the hobbyist alive. I am Toyama23, signing out.